What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some tips and tricks for battery issues on iOS 16. So since the launch of 16.0, which is the very first version, um, a lot of people are, are experiencing battery drain, even on the latest iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So uh, the first thing I do want to mention is every single year when there is a brand new version, there is going to be always battery issues. So um, what I recommend you guys doing is just waiting for the next update. So just go into your settings, go to general and then software update and check if there is a new version. So hopefully that will be coming out in the next week or so, uh, which will fix a ton of issues for a ton of people. But I am going to be suggesting some other things you guys can do on your settings application. So the first thing you guys want to do is go into your settings, go into privacy and security location services and basically you want to go through all the apps you currently have installed on your phone and decide if you want to be using your location while using the application so um, obviously um, this will be using uh, quite a bit of battery life if you have it on all applications so for example uh, this is the voom application which basically is just kind of clock in the background so i don't really need it to be using um, my location while i use the application so i'm just going to click that to never and you like i said you just wanted to go through all the apps you have installed on your phone and which i will do um, afterwards and decide um, if i want my location uh, to be on for these applications. The next thing you want to do is go into the privacy and security tab and then go into tracking and basically you want to turn off where it says allow apps to request to track. Pretty self-explanatory so basically you don't really want these apps tracking you um, in apps such as like Spotify, whether network, Snapchat, so uh, just make sure you have that turned off. Next thing is we want to go into our general tab right here, background app refresh. So this is a huge one so make sure you guys watch this entire part. But basically uh, most people will have this on like Wi-Fi and they'll have it on for all their applications. So what this basically does is it's going to refresh the content in the background even if you're not using it if you have this toggled on so I have it I have it toggled on on all my apps and basically when I am connected to my Wi-Fi it's going to be refreshing the data for my Dita's app, AdSense app, Air Miles and even some people might even have it on Wi-Fi and cellular data and if you guys didn't know obviously cellular data you will use a ton of battery life so uh, if you still want to use this feature you can use it on some apps I don't recommend turning it on for all apps but for me, I like just completely switching this off. If I want to go into any app, I will just go into it myself and then refresh the content from there. Next, we want to go into the cellular option right here. And then we want to go into cellular data options. And from here, we want to go into the voice and data. And what you guys want to do is if you don't have a uh, 5G coverage in your area, switch this to LT right away because obviously 5G will use a ton more battery life than LTE. So switch that over. If you do have 5G in your area, I recommend um, going into 5G auto because if you have 5G at all times, basically um, in my area, I get 5G, but not in every single location I obviously go to. So if you have this feature on 5G on, it's going to be constantly looking for 5G networks around your area. So um, I recommend putting this on 5G auto. But like I said, if you don't have any 5G coverage in your area, turn this to uh, click the LTE option instead. Next, we want to go back into the cellular data options, go into data mode. And for from here, basically, you want to set this to standard or low data mode. Uh, basically, same thing. If you want to allow more data on 5G, it will be using a ton more battery life on your device. Same thing. We're going to be in the settings application. We want to scroll down until we see the mail option. So we're going to go into that go into accounts right here, go into fetch new data, and you want to turn push to off. So you want to toggle that complete off because basically it's going to be constantly going through the server for your mail application over and over if you have this toggled on. And then from here where it says fetch, you want to turn this to manually or I recommend maybe every 30 minutes. If you have it automatically, it's just going to be constantly refreshing your mail application even when you're not even in the app itself. So I recommend turning this to manually. And if I want to ever check my mail, I'll open the mail up my, on my own, refresh the data, and check if I have any new mails. Now we want to scroll down until we see the accessibility options and then go into motion. And then you want to turn the uh, reduce motion on. So basically, um, this isn't anything too crazy for battery life. But basically, if we have this on, it's going to change the animations when we open up apps on our device. So you can see it's kind of a more a smooth transition when we open up like the settings application or when we X out an application. So obviously, um, you guys can kind of tell the difference when it's on and off. So I'm going to turn it back off. 
and you'll see we get that nice little animation. So um, I highly recommend turning this on if you want to save some battery life. So I have one last tip for you guys, and that is avoid using your device while charging it. So this is kind of not on iOS 16. This is kind of just in general. I know a lot of people before bed are on YouTube. They're on Instagram, Twitter on FaceTime calls and they're charging their device while doing all these things and that will cause a significant battery drain on your device over time. You won't experience it right away but you will be able to tell a uh, significant difference um, in the upcoming months but uh, avoid doing that at all times. But yeah guys that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you guys did drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. That's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next one.